Hello and welcome to 2K Sports. You're watching the NBA. The first round of the NBA playoffs continue as we take you east. It's going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers up against Rajon Rondo and the Boston Celtics. The NBA on 2K Sports. For some... of the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined in the booth with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kirk. This is Kevin Harlan. This Boston crowd ready to roar in this Eastern Conference matchup for the Celtics. Here are your starting lineups brought to you by State Farm. And as we take a look here at Kevin Garnett, guys, what's your take? Well, the thing with Garnett, Kevin, is he's still one of the best players in the league. He doesn't finish quite as well around the basket as he once did, but he's got a knockdown jump shot at that mid-range level. Excellent defender, good rebounder, and basically just a winner. Well, he is a winner because he does all of those things. He scores, he defends, but it's not just about scoring with him. He's a pretty good playmaker from the post, too, Steve. He's become quite adept at spotting cutters and slashes when he's got the ball in the post. No breathing room at all to take that shot. Boston on D. Thursday's loss was a disappointment. Pretty lazy effort defensively that night from them, guys. You know, I know that it sounds harsh, but hey, I speak the truth. <laughs> yes, you do. Where were the adjustments is my question. I mean, the coaching staff didn't seem to realize, as everyone else watching did, that changes had to be made defensively. They never moved on anything. And so it's the Cavaliers getting on the board first. Pierce kicks to Garnett over Vera Zhao. Again, Garnett missing. You gotta like the defense not quitting on the play and getting a hand in the face. Sure do. With a tough defender breathing down your neck, that makes it not an easy shot. Now, here is Irving. Shot from free throw range. And the shot is good. Irving's got his second basket of the game. And Boston has possession. Four-point game. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. A temporary lapse of focus from him on that turnover. It's embarrassing, but on occasion it does happen. Now it's send it down to Doris Burke, who is able to catch up with Coach Doc Rivers. In terms of how they'd respond after giving up home court advantage in game one, he replied, that was last game. That's in the past. We've just got to focus on the present. But he did admit that a loss here will make things very difficult for them. History tells us, Kevin, that's a near impossible thing to overcome. And as always, Doris, thank you. Irving against Rondo. Rondo off the big from Bass. Bradley passes to Garnett. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Celtics shooting their first free throws here tonight. The free throw drops for Garnett. And both free throws good from Garnett. Another trip to the line and he's right on the mark. He's not a guy you want to get in the habit of putting on the strike. Rondo against Irving. Thompson, a screen on run. Irving against run. And that one's good. And that's now eight points for Kyrie Irving. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's a sweet start. And there's the ball on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. And the Celtics making a change here. Green's checked in. Rondo with it. Picked up by Thompson. The feed to Garnett. Back to Rondo. Garnett left side. Good luck. And that one's good. Here's Irving. Eight points for him. Thompson a screen on Rondo. Irving against Rondo. Garnett comes over the hill. Outside Irving, pocket six. 
Very shallow, setting the pick for Irving. Off the pick. No good. Great tee that time from Green. Celtics trail by four. Rondo dishes to Pierce. Over Thompson. Virajal comes up with the rebound. Can't say I'm surprised that one didn't fall. He can barely dunk it in the pregame layup line. G kicks to Thompson. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Just got a little careless on that pass. They should be able to connect on those. Boston making some changes. Selinger's checked in for Garnett. And it's Terry in for Rajon Rondo. Terry against Gibson. Shot from the low block. Indeed, Terry drops it in. Cavaliers have gone 4-5 or five from the field so far. Gibson passes to Zeller. Drops in the layup for two. Zeller's got his first two points. Good job creating an easy bucket there. Terry dishes to Pierce. Gibson with the steal. Got a piece of it. Pierce with the steal. Puts it up from 17. And Jason Terry again. And he will punish an opponent for giving him that much room to mid-range. He'll hit that all day. Gibson with it. Guarded now by Jason Terry. Gibson against Terry. And Gibson kicks to Zeller. A double clutch. He flies to the bucket and lays it in. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything you can get in there. Back to Terry for three. That drops. Terry's got seven points in the game. Six seconds left to play here in the first. Gets in for three. That's good. Boy, they answered that three-pointer right back. It is raining threes in here now, boys. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Cavaliers lead by four. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. First round of the Eastern Conference Playoffs. LeBron James and the Miami Heat take on Carmelo Anthony and the New York Knicks. Next Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... It's the NBA Playoffs. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action here in this Game 2. And from what we've seen from the Cavaliers, what do you guys see? And they're really keying in on getting as many good shots inside the lane as possible. They're doing a nice job of not just settling for outside looks. Yep, I agree. I mean, they're working it inside and doing it with intention and purpose. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the floor for Boston. Rondo and the Jet. Jason Terry in the back. Green is out there with Brandon Bass. And it's Selinger in at the center. Rondo kicks to Bass over Thompson. And that one, no good to start him off in the night. The Cavaliers leading by six. Irving with it, guarded now by Jason Terry. And Terry over to help. Irving passes to Ellington. And he drops it in from the low post. Ellington's got his first points of the night. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. Rondo kicks to Terry. Terry off the pick from Bass. Terry dishes to Bass. And he dunks it after the pick frees him up. That's basketball 101, guys. I mean, elementary. Use the screen to free yourself and then take it straight to the rack. Yeah, very nice set play for him. Well, that's using your head and using your body. Irving passes to Thompson. He dishes it to Ellington. Shot clock at six. No good. Boy, great rebound from just a little guy. He had to fight and claw for that one. Here's Green, and he throws it down with one hand. 
I like that one-handed spike right there. Yeah, that's how it's done. Yes, sir. Reed. Yeah, he's not going to miss many of those. Irving with it. He's picked up by Rondo. Irving against Terry. Here's Thompson. Hammers it home. And not much resistance on that jam. Yeah, defensively, you're right. Not a great sequence. Well, they lost track of him, and they paid the price. Irving against Rondo. Upside Rondo. Over Irving. And there are the Celtics with another basket. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Thompson is three nine Rondo. Irving against Rondo. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Boy, it's so impressive to see a young guy like Kyrie Irving carry his team's offense, and that's exactly what he's done. You know, he's able to score for himself or find open teammates with his ball handling and passing. So the, the ideal point guard for a young team. And, you know, another exceptional quality for Kyrie being a player so early in his career is how calm and collected he is at the end of games. I mean, he looks almost like a 15-year veteran late in games. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Kevin Garnett, he's checked in for Zellinger. Here's comes in for Brandon Bass. And it's Avery Bradley in for Jason Terry. Back to Garnett. This is the Rondo. Celtics passing it around. Six on the shot clock. Gets it to go. The Cavaliers leading by four. Irving with it. He's picked up by Rondo. Irving kicks to Waiters. Latrey. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got three assists tonight. He may not be their top three-point option, guys, but you still got to cover him. I mean, you got to defend him in some form or fashion. Rondo's shot is good. Looks like the defense kind of backed off him, and he took advantage. The Cavaliers have gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooter. Here's Irving. That's good. Irving's got 12. Beautiful finesse move right there. I mean, you've got to love that finger roll finish. And some changes here for the Celtics. Sellinger comes in for Jeff Green. And it's Terry in for Rajon Rondo. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Anderson Verajaus checked in for Zeller. Tristan Thompson comes in for Maurice Spates. Alonzo G is checked in for C.J. Myers. And Daniel Gibson subbed in for Kyrie Irving. He has such a great feel for how a missed shot is going to come off the rim. Really plays those angles well. That's exactly why he consistently beats defenders to the ball. Gibson with it. Guarded now by Jason Terry. Beyond the arc. Good work defensively by Terry. You know, even against defense as tight as that, you expect him to bury those. I don't know. I mean, we've seen him hit those in the past, but like you said, the defender was on him like glue. It would have been quite a bucket. Here's G. Here's covering. Broke loose. Thompson with it. Back to Gibson. From downtown. Rebounded by the Celtics. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Here's Pierce. Waiters grabs the miss. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss, though. And the first half ends in a close one. Cavaliers ahead. They're up by three. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. Now, presented by Sprint. What unbelievable postseason action we've got going on so far. This is 2K Sports as we get deeper into round one of the playoffs. For the Cavaliers, a closely contested game against the Boston Celtics. They're looking for their second win in as many games in this series. We've seen Kyrie Irving producing at will against the Celtics D. He's got a dozen points and he's been able to provide some nice assists as well. And slugging it out so far, the Boston Celtics. They've benefited from some excellent contribution from their bench, providing scoring in bunches when called upon. It's been a major advantage. Jason Terry, a huge X-factor. 
He's got nine points and also has contributed with his passing, making some assists. And that's it for now. Thanks for stopping in with us. It's time to head back to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, who are all ready with the call in the second half. And welcome back as we get rolling again here. A fresh NBA season tipping off here. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, give him credit. He's been very selective with his shots, and it's paying off for him and his team. You know, he's taking exactly what the defense has given him, and he's not forced anything. That's exactly how you should play the game, in my opinion. On the court for Cleveland, Irving and Raiders in the back. Thompson at the four and Verizhao at the five. And it's G in at the three spot. And both free throws good for Waiters. Celtics trail by five. Outside Rondo. This is it to Garnett. Over Verizhao. And Garnett misses. Y'all yeah, like the defense not quitting on the play and getting a hand in the face. Sure do it with a tough defender breathing down your neck. That makes it not an easy shot. G dishes to Irving. Outside, Irving. Goes up low. Here's Verizhao. And that's the devastating one-handed jam. Major glass eating that time, fellas. That's just the kind of aggressive basketball he's known for. Yeah, it seems like we see that play from him almost every night. An offensive board that ends with a slam. The dish to Pierce. Pass to Bradley. He kicks it to Garnett. The pass to Pierce. Just four to shoot. Over G. Again, Pierce missing. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Outside Irving. Makes the lead pass. Ball's not loose. Now here's Bradley, the fast break opportunity. It's blocked. Three straight misses here to start the second half. Irving passes to Waiters. Puts the lead pass in front of him. It's off his foot. And it's being called a kickball. Boston making some changes. Selinger's checked in for Garnett. Green comes in for Brandon Bass. And it's Terry in for Avery Bradley. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Zeller is checked in for Verizon. Spates comes in for Tristan Thompson. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Alonzo G. And Ellington is subbed in for Waiters. A shot by Ellington, no good. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. Outside Rondo, back to Pierce. Covered by Irving. Outside Green. Terry outside. Shoots over Miles. Again, the miss by the Celtics. The Cavaliers leading by seven. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Rondo against Irving. Softly drops in the floater. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. That's a precision shot. You've got to be precise. No room for error on the floater. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, just too many easy buckets, you know, in and around the paint. So he wants to put a stop to it. This timeout is going to be used to try to tighten up the defense. Guys at this level, they won't miss often if you keep giving up looks inside. And they're paying for that right now. Good timeout here. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Kevin Garnett has checked in for Zellinger. Bass comes in for Paul Pierce. And it's Avery Bradley in for Rajon Rondo. One twenty-four left to play here in the third. Thompson a screen on Bradley. Here's Waiters. No luck. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. Green stuffs it through. 
Two hands for safety, one hand if you want major elevation. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. You know you can get up higher with one hand. Did you know that? I did not know that. It really is true. I mean, you can expand better with one. Well, it's whatever he did. Whatever, whatever it was, it definitely worked, but he feeds it to Bradley. Going straight up, and it's good. Now it's just a three-point Cavalier lead. Something has to change, guys. That's ten straight points coming in the paint against this team. Well, they got to collapse in there, and everybody's got to be conscious of it. It's a team effort in protecting the paint. Control the ball, and then everybody's got to get in there and keep the defense locked down. For three, Gibson. That's good. Gibson's got his second bucket of the night. Well, you have to play him tough. He's just too good. The Celtics have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Green kicks to Garnett. Tipped. Good idea. Hold on to the ball. Take the last shot of the court. Yep. Now here's Waiters. Fires the three. Shot is off. The third quarter comes to a close. Cavaliers lead by six. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. First round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. LeBron James and the Miami Heat take on Carmelo Anthony and the New York Knicks next Monday night. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Now, let's check in with Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game. Doris? Hey, guys. Kyrie Irving has had an uncontainable game tonight. What a first half it was for him. He really lit it up. That same kind of output here in the fourth quarter would really help their cause, guys. All right, thanks, Doris. It's been just a terrific game for him. It really has. They haven't figured out a way to stop him or even slow him down, so... Uh, they've only got one quarter left to come up with a solution. They're going to have to figure something out. Well, good luck with that. I mean, if they haven't figured it out by now, I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I think we're going to see more of the same here in the fourth. Bradley and Pierce fill out the wings. Brandon Bass is out there with Jared Sollinger. And it's Rondo in at the one. That's the Boston Five. Well, I tell you what, that's fantastic defense. And one of the best three-point shooters in the league. The key there was not to give him much space before he took that shot. And that's the only way to stop him, Clark. The defender has to be all over him with a hand in his face. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Garnett comes in for Brandon Bass. And it's Tyrion for Avery Bradley. Obviously, he's not afraid of physical play, but he still needs to play in control. And he definitely wasn't in control that time. Everybody in the building knew it was an over-the-back call. Brandon Bass is checked in for the Celtics. Avery Bradley comes in for Jason Terry. And he knows how to finish when he gets that close to the hoop. Rondo kicks to Bass. Bradley. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Kicks it to Garnett. It's tipped. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Outside Irving. Leads him in there. Here's Verichow. Thompson dishes to G. Six to shoot. There's the three. And that one's good. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. He's going to take that shot every time if he has that much room to get it off. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. He's definitely rolling offensively. You might not be able to stop him, but you've got to find a way to contain him. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. During that break, Coach Rivers had some words for his team. He let his players know that they've got to do a better job on defense. He said, they're scoring any way they want. We've got to show some pride here. Let's make a stand defensively, get a stop, and get on a run of our own. Do they have it in them, Kevin? Irving's got four points now in the quarter. 
He's been so solid. You've got to keep him out there on the floor, really doing a nice job for the offense. Rondo passes to Garnett. Rondo. Back to Garnett. To stop the run. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Six points for Garnett. Well, he's been scoring pretty well on just a few attempts. It might help them out if he was a bit more assertive. Here's Irving. Right side Irving. Rondo on the double team. Here's Thompson. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got four assists now tonight. You know, the defense has to prevent the ball from getting down into that area if they're going to be successful, guys. And Bass kicks to Bradley. Feeds it to Rondo. The feed to Garnett. Very show up. The fader. Can't hit. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. I don't like his body language, guys, right now. He looks like he's completely out of rhythm. Irving against Bradley. And Pierce over to help. Here's Irving. And that one's good. Irving's got 20. Yeah, saw just a little bit of daylight and went right to the rim. Outside Rondo. That one goes. Perfect. 141 left to play here in the fourth. Irving against Rondo. And again, Kyrie Irving. Irving's got 10 points in just the second half. Celtics trail by 15. He dishes it to Bradley. Back to Rondo. With the lead pass. Here's Bass. Great positioning on the putback. And it's eight points for Garnett. This team has to tighten up inside. Way too many easy hoops in the lane. Yep, that's five straight buckets they've given up from the key now, and it's, it's hurting them. Rondo against Irving. Gets it to go. And the Cavaliers lead by 15. And that should definitely do it. Now it's starting to get out of hand. Yeah, they're not just running to the finish line. They're running through the finish line right here. They're piling it on a bit. And Garnett misses. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Irving against Rondo. And it's Irving missing. The Celtics have gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Here's for three. And again, Boston with the triple. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Cavaliers have gone 7 of 9 from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Rondo against Irving. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. That'll do it for now for Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in to the Eastern Conference quarterfinals here on 2K Sports. Now let's check out our Jordan player of the game.